I'm just so happy to see that, you know, the last windstorm didn't end up ruining our foliage season. So many beautiful photos that are coming in. And I do think that peak foliage is happening a little bit earlier than usual. And one of the reasons why is because of the current drought status. When trees get stressed out, they start to change color earlier. So enjoy while it lasts. And this weekend will be a perfect time to do so. Every Thursday, we look forward to or don't look forward to the U.S. Drought Monitor Report coming in. Now, this is actually gotten worse than last week, meaning more of the state is included in a severe or extreme drought. However, it does not include the rain that we got Tuesday into Wednesday. We got generally one to two inches, so that should help a little bit. So while this is concerning, we'll see what that ends up doing that one to two inches to next week's report. Meanwhile, we do have some rain chances on the way tomorrow. Not going to be much, maybe a quarter of an inch or less. Some towns might even just get a few sprinkles. So again, this is not going to be what you're waiting for. Saturday and Sunday were dry again when you can enjoy some time outside and we have another chance for some rain on Monday. Still trying to figure out though where that next storm is going to end up developing. It might be just a few showers and we could get another soaking rainfall, which is what we're all hoping for. Temperatures right now in the upper 60s, New Milford, Torrington, Waterbury, middle 70s for the Hartford area, low 70s at the shoreline. And again, it's just a beautiful day, but you'll see the showers that are on the way as we head through the day tomorrow as this disturbance drops down from Canada. Staying comfy tonight, though, even though we'll see increasing clouds with low temperatures, generally in the lower to middle 50s, but we could see some upper 40s out there as we head towards daybreak. And during the day tomorrow, cooler temperatures generally in the lower 60s. Some towns in eastern Connecticut might be able to sneak into the mid 60s. A few showers and some late day clearing. I wanted to show you what this looks like here on our future satellite and radar. We'll stop the clock here at 7 a.m. Eastern areas, you may wake up and have a beautiful sunrise tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, right out of the gate in western Connecticut, it's kind of cloudy and showery. Those showers will continue to push east through the afternoon. This is 1.30. This is 4 o'clock where western areas, you're already breaking into sunshine, but it's still damp for a little while longer in eastern areas. Then I think we all kind of clear out later in the day. For Saturday, we're looking beautiful. Beautiful, partly cloudy skies, high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s with a light westerly wind. And I mean, I'm speechless. This weekend forecast, either day you can do stuff outside. Here's that chance for rain on Monday that we're watching very closely yesterday. Computer models were taking the storm right up over us today. It's a little bit farther east. It's too soon to say, but at least we're saying there's a chance for some rain on Monday. We'll take what we can get and another opportunity for Wednesday of next week, too. All right, Rachel.